Okay, Tinley, let's review Enter Sandman. I'll just go ahead and play through it first so you can hear the patterns. Here's the A section, which you played so well this week, but just so you know, you do this, um, you do that pattern four times. And then uh, once you get through with that, then you can do this pattern, and I'm going to go over this in detail with you, all the notes in just a second, but so you can hear it. Well, you, I would do that at least four times too, just so you get into a groove. Uh, but that part, you, know, you do a, a power chord with your first finger on string 5 fret 2, and you play open string six as well, so you play string six and five together. Play that once, so you get that chord. Then you go up to, oops, the seventh fret, which on your guitar, if you look at these, these dots help you know where you are. Not the first dot, not the second dot, but the third dot is where fret seven is. So string five fret seven, play that note once, then string 6 fret 6, play that note once. Then string 5 fret 5, play that note once. So all together, those three notes. And notice I use three different fingers. I use third finger, second finger, and first finger. Oops. Now, you could just go two, second finger, first finger, first finger. That's okay too, but the more fingers you get used to using, the better. So here's that pattern again, power chord. This is an E5, and then 5, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5. You do that pattern three times. Two, three. You do that three times, all right? And then you have this challenging part with the G5 and the F sharp 5 chord. So a G5 power chord is this, string 6 fret 3 and string 5 fret 5. So the first dot and the second dot, but on different strings. You play string 6 and 5 together. That's a G5. Then you play open string 6. Then the F sharp 5 is just a fret back from the G5, string 6 fret 2 and string 5 fret 4 play string six and five together again same kind of chord just to fret back then play open string six again then go right back to the F sharp five and to the G five so let's review that that's really complicated and it goes by so fast that little thing goes by in like two seconds and there's all that stuff going on G five six three and five five you play string six and five together. Open six, F sharp five, six, two, and five, four together. Open string six. And then you do the two power chords right in a row without open string six. F sharp five, G five. Notice there's no open string six in between at the end. So three, zero, two, zero, two, three, without the zero. Three, zero, two, zero, two, three. There it is. All right, so if you have any more questions, uh, tell mom or dad and they can email me and we'll get you all fixed up. You're doing great with this song. Don't give up. Um, uh, you're a really good student and just uh, keep at it. And I'm sure by uh, Wednesday, it'll be sounding real good. All right, have fun. Have a fun weekend. Thank you.